Right, so sources have been going back and forth on whether the AirPods Pro 2 are going to go stemless or not, and today's report is suggesting that's not going to be the case. And so let's delve into it guys, but first, make sure to like and subscribe for the latest Apple news and rumours. And with that being said, let's just talk in. So yeah, we've had a plethora of reports debating whether AirPods Pro 2 are going to go stemless or not. I believe German was the first one to mention this. He said, Apple was aiming to eliminate the stem and give us a design that's more similar to the Galaxy Buds and the Pixel Buds. Quo also kind of said this because he said, we could see a new form factor design. So yeah, these two credible sources telling us there is a chance we could see a stemless design. However, German then told us in a later report that Apple's engineers were finding it difficult to pack all the tech AirPods needs in a smaller body and so as a result, the final design might be less ambitious. And that's when we got these leaked images of AirPods Pro 2 from Mac Rumors. And basically this looks identical to AirPods Pro 1. The only changes were of course, the new skin detection sensor on the front, the same one we see with AirPods 3, but also speaker holes and a lanyard connector on the sides. And while apparently now graphic designer Ian Zelbo believes these Mac Rumors images are legit. And his main reasoning is because he himself has heard the design is not changing much, but also the skin sensor on the actual earbuds is the same size as the one found on AirPods 3 according to his 3D comparisons. And by the way, this skin sensor is way more accurate in determining if the earbuds are actually in your ears or not and work by detecting water content in the wearer's skin. And yeah, right now AirPods Pro and other existing AirPods have dual optical sensors which can easily be tricked by other surfaces which accidentally resumes playback when not needed. So yeah, this tech is way better and more reliable and of course, it's also way smaller than the current grill we have with the first gen AirPods Pro. And yeah, since the skin sensor is the same size as the one found on AirPods Pro, there is a very good chance these images are legit. Now what do I think? Well, to be honest, I think I side with Mac Rumors on this, because in the past, when we do get images of new AirPods months before their release, they do end up being legit. For example, this one was AirPods Pro, this one was AirPods 3, and these released months before the release, but they were basically spot on. And so since Mac Rumors is the only source that has actual images of the product, I do think there's a very good chance they're the legit source, and Mark Gurman and Quo are wrong about this. One could also argue the stem does serve a purpose. Not only does it help AirPods stand out and make it clear that you're wearing AirPods, but also the stem does have a function where, of course, you control your media with it. And so I can see Apple keeping it around for the second gen AirPods Pro. And yeah, with more and more rumors regarding lossless audio support, I'm sure this is also gonna need hardware within the actual AirPods, and so I don't see them shrinking the buds. By the way, regarding loss of support with these AirPods, Shrimp Apple Pro does tell us these new AirPods Pro 2 could use the LC3 lossless codec that works via Bluetooth. Now this is surprising because there's been rumors that Apple could use a Bluetooth alternative that only works with their devices to achieve lossless audio with these AirPods. But no, Shrimp claims that this should work with the regular AirPod standards and should be as good as LDAC in terms of sound quality. However, this feature is only going to be available on the iPhone 11 and up and also the Apple Silicon Max. Other details Shrimp tells us includes a new SIP inside that could improve the sound quality while keeping the drivers the same as AirPods Pro 1. Shrimp also says there's no redesign and also no new health sensors. Now other upgrades I think we can expect are of course better sound quality and better battery life. Shrimp does suggest the former with the new SIP and a battery life upgrade seems likely since AirPods 3 currently have better battery life than the Pros and I'm sure Apple wants to fix that and makes the Pros better which of course what many would expect to be the case.
But now it's time for the peep show to see what you guys think regarding these AirPods Pro 2 rumors. Lander says, I just want better battery life and minimize the cracking sound after a few years of use. Now I do believe this has now been fixed, but yes, initial versions of AirPods Pro were plagued with issues and there is still a recall program for those AirPods, but I do very much hope AirPods Pro 2 have no issues when they eventually release. And yes, better battery life is something I'm also looking forward to because AirPods have tiny batteries to begin with and so they degrade fast and so giving us bigger batteries within these AirPods is really going to make these last much longer in the long term. However, I would appreciate if Apple does charge less for the AirPods repairs. Currently, they charge way too much for battery replacements to a point where it just makes sense to buy new AirPods and that is a massive waste for the environment and so yes, Timothy, I do very much hope battery replacements are much cheaper in the future for AirPods. Evan says, I've had AirPods 3 since launch and have literally never plugged it into charge. MagSafe only and yeah, this is basically me too. I've never plugged my AirPods in. I always use wireless charge. And yeah, that's why I could care less about the USB-C ports with these new AirPods. Anyways, Amdad says, when will this be released? Well, initially, I was thinking we could see an October release, since Apple does usually have an October Mac event, and so like the AirPods 3 announcement, we could see these new AirPods alongside a Mac announcement. However, now we have the M2 Max, and I'm not sure whether we're going to see another big Mac event in October this year, so I do think these AirPods could launch with the iPhone instead. And that could actually make sense because I can see many pre-ordering these AirPods alongside these iPhones, but also, of course, AirPods and the Apple Watch are the ultimate accessories for the iPhone, so releasing all of these at once might be the right move. Anyways, that's about it for the peep show. Let me know your thoughts regarding this. Any questions, doubts, statements, everything in the comments below. But guys, tell me your thoughts. Do you think AirPods Pro 2 are going to go stemless or not? Anyways, thank you for watching, guys. Make sure to like and subscribe for the latest Apple news and rumors. Check out the video above on details regarding the iPad Pro with the M2 chip. And on that note, I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya, peeps.